Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to see what the month of June has in store for you guys, okay? Um, really quickly, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss a beat in the future. Also, if you want a personal reading with me, my website information will be linked below. Literally everything you guys need to find me on my other YouTube channels, all that jazz, will be listed below. Uh, make sure you guys join me for my lives. I do live personal readings now. Um, every day around five or six o'clock, we will be doing lives where I will answer your questions. And all you gotta come through and do is give a donation and you will get your question answered. So Pisces, definitely let's go ahead and see what's going on. So what are my Pisces currently not aware of? So I'm gonna take these two first because they flipped out. So we have the moon and the king of coins in reverse. So first thing I'm getting, what you're currently not aware of, in the next coming weeks, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to come out that you weren't aware of, that you may have not noticed. Maybe even your intuition could have gave you nudges in terms of certain things that were going on behind the scenes, whether this has anything to do with a person, um, your finances, things that you can't even control per se, uh, but nonetheless there's going to be certain things that are revealed in the next coming weeks that's going to make you go aha i get it i understand especially when it comes to a capricorn taurus or virgo if there's any secrets this person is keeping or anything that this person isn't telling you trust me you're gonna start to catch on or it may like i said just straight up come out it doesn't even have to be just an earth sign. It's someone here in particular where you've been noticing their actions haven't been really aligning with the things that they've been telling you. They could be telling you, oh, I want to be in a serious relationship or I see myself being with you on a serious level. But then when it comes to those type of conversations or actually doing it, this person could be doing the opposite almost. Some of you guys are also going to start to see where your money problems are coming from. And it could have been things that you already knew about your finances. Like maybe you're spending your money on the wrong things. Or maybe it's time for you guys to, to go after a new way to make money or a higher position in whatever you're doing. But you guys are really going to have an epiphany in terms of your finances and then your future. And this is going to change the game completely. You may find yourself even wanting to invest. Maybe even go into another career path. Let's keep going. Also, if there is... Some of you guys are going to go to the doctor in the next coming weeks and find out that there could be a certain health issue you need to pay closer attention to. So if you've been noticing that something's been up with your health or certain things have been up just in general with you, you go to the doctor and and they actually tell you that there's something that you guys need to be more so aware of in terms of your health. Now I have the Ace of Spears, the Devil card, and I also have the Ace of Coins. So what you're currently not aware of, the source of why you guys haven't been feeling as motivated or as driven could have something to do with either some sort of substance abuse issue some of you guys may be struggling with. Um, this could be a toxic relationship some of you guys are in where you're unmotivated because your relationship is constantly on your mind. You trying to figure out what the problem is or what you could do differently within your relationship. That is taking up a lot of mental focus for you. So it's like you guys are not as driven as you guys used to be. And in turn, that's been affecting your finances. Another thing that you may not be aware of right now, Pisces, you guys could have a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo around you where their base, their basis in them dealing with you or 
being around you could be more sexual in nature or for them it was always supposed to just be like a sexual thing and then it just became a situation where they just like attach themselves to you thereafter so some of you guys could have like more of a sexual tie to someone than a tie that's based off of love okay i got the queen of swords in reverse and the king of swords so we have a pairing so yeah somebody in your relationship is not being honest or isn't being all the way real about what's on their mind or or what they want truly from the connection itself and i'm also hearing some of you guys may have a spouse that gets advice from their family and their family could be totally against the relationship you guys have because of the things that your spouse could be telling them this could be like a mother-in-law father-in-law that's giving your person advice to basically leave the situation alone and they may not be saying that another thing you currently may not be aware of you guys could have a roommate or someone you live with who's not being all the way honest with you about their financial situation and because of that uh this could be causing them to be behind on bills or not on top of their end of the responsibilities so that could be why you're noticing that certain bills are not getting paid on time or they're even coming to ask you to borrow money and, and things like that it could be because this person is going through some sort of financial struggle Okay, we have the Knight of Spears as well as the Page of Spears. Hmm. So another thing that you guys may not be aware of, whenever you and possibly an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo fall out, this person could start telling your business to like their friends or they could do things that are more so passive aggressive to kind of trigger you. And some of you may have already kind, kind of had this inclination like, oh, this person is only doing this because they're trying to make me angry. But this is a confirmation, like they may do certain things or they may even tell your business to other people. Hmm. Hold on, I want to clarify this card. Why is this here? Yeah, okay, so some of you guys who are dealing with a, another Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or irregardless of the Zodiac sign, if you're dealing with somebody who seems very emotionally disconnected from the relationship, it's because this person could want certain things from you that they feel like you wouldn't be down for. Like some of you guys are dealing with somebody who wants to get married or wants to move to a different state, but... They feel like in them either having a conversation with you and expressing these things and you didn't really seem excited about it, they could be in a space to where they feel like they need to make a choice on what they want to do. If they want to stay in the relationship or do things along the lines of what they truly desire. So that could be where there's a disconnect, where this person's not upfront saying, I think I want to move to a different state or I think I want to do this. I think I want to do that because they don't want to basically make it clear that they're considering other options or they don't know how to approach the conversation itself but this is just some of the stuff that i see i hope i put things in perspective for you if you did take something from it definitely feel free to thumbs up the video and i will talk to you later